Okay, in the meantime, I'll, I'll write something on the button. <laughs> because I don't have slides. Okay. Yes, what's <laughs> it? Okay, maybe, maybe I'll use this one. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm uh, Krzysztof Kosiński, or Chris. Uh, I'm uh, associated with the Inkscape project. Uh, I'm mainly responsible for uh, porting the render to Cairo uh, for uh, clipboard work, and uh, I rewrote the Note tool as part of GSOC 2009, I think. Uh, so uh, I wanted to just uh, say a few words about Inkscape 1.0 uh, and uh, where we are heading with that. Uh, so uh, uh, so uh, mm, some time ago, uh, actually a long time ago, it was decided that the uh, Inkscape 1.0 would have uh, would be uh, the, this milestone would be achieved when we have uh, full support for SVG 1.1. Uh, and uh, over time, it became apparent that this goal is a little uh, unrealistic for 1.0 uh, uh, software, uh, which basically should mean that it's generally usable. And we think we passed that point some time ago already. Uh, and anyway, it, it appears that there might be some uh, SVG features that we might not implement uh, at all, ever. Uh, so uh, there was recently some talk on the mailing list uh, about changing this milestone, and uh, uh, we uh, came to the conclusion that uh, there, there's been so much happening uh, uh, after uh, point 48 release that uh, there's not going to be uh, a point 49 release. Uh, we're going to release uh, to call it point 91 to emphasize that it's uh, this big jump in, uh, in features and in quality. Uh, so uh, uh, for 1.0 we're planning basically to uh, for it to be very similar to uh, point 91 but, uh, but uh, with, uh, uh, with two very long-standing problems uh, fixed. And uh, uh, there are uh, those two problems are the, the first one is the uh, coordinate problem and the second one is the float text problem. Uh, now I'm going to draw something. So uh, on the right is the SVG standard coordinate system, and on the uh, sorry uh, on the left is the standard SVG coordinate system, and on the right is the so-called desktop coordinate system used in Inkscape. It, it's a very very old uh, decision dating back to Sodipodi days, and uh, it's very clear that it was a mistake. Uh, the main obstacle to fixing this is the 3D box tool, uh, because uh, the guy who implemented the 3D box tool made a giant mistake, uh, and uh, uh, the 3D box tool saves its internal editing data in the in the uh, coordinate system on the right. Uh, I tried uh, fixing this, but I uh, I have absolutely no clue on 3D math. Uh, so, uh, if there is someone in the room who is interested in, uh, in 3D math and can uh, give us a hand at fixing that, that would be very appreciated. And uh, the second uh, issue we are planning to fix for 1.0 is the flow text issue. I'm pretty sure almost everyone uh, ran into that. Uh, the flow text is, is saved in a format that's, uh, that's taken from the SVG 1.2 draft, and nobody implements that. So uh, what we have to do is to put uh, what we have, uh, we have decided on a method to fix this already. Uh, we want to uh, put the float text uh, element uh, in a switch. Uh, because uh, SVG has a switch element that allows you to uh, that allows the renderer to choose uh, uh, what uh, what to display, and uh, basically uh, one branch of the switch would be uh, would be our current flow text data, and the second one would be uh, SVG 1.1 compliant data. Uh, and the main uh, obstacle to that is that uh, we have to re rewrite our handling of switches because right now we treat treat them as uh, basically as groups, and you can actually ungroup a switch, which, which, makes, uh, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, 
Yeah, so basically uh, that's an outline of what we are planning uh, before we hit 1.0. Thank you.